Hi, I am Kat and this is Cheeky Yoga Club. Welcome. What we'll do during this session will be a lot of grounding exercises, a lot of um, release through breathing and through body work, um, but also balancing because balancing like nothing else <laughs> forces you to be in here and now because as soon as you start thinking about something else, you fall. So what do you need for this practice? A table or at least a wall, block or a thick book, thick book will do too, a strap or a belt. Okay, let's get started. Let's start with warming up our feet because we'll be working with them a lot today. Maybe you hear my uh, toes cracking. Maybe yours are cracking too. Dig deep. We don't, we don't often pay attention to our feet, which is kind of ironic because they carry us every day throughout, um, throughout life. So give them some love, give them some stretching. Nice, beautiful. And now stand with your feet hip distance apart and tuck your tailbone. So when I say tuck your tailbone, it means tilt your pelvis, which means you're not doing duck butt, <laughs> you're not twerking. Your tailbone goes down and under, okay? So do it with me, like exaggerate this move. Tailbone down and under, that's tucking your tailbone, tilting your pelvis, and now straighten your legs without losing the alignment here, okay? So that activates your core, activates your lower belly, and breathe into that. So while keeping your core active, tailbone down, you're rooting through your feet. Breathe into them, relax your shoulders. Spine nice and tall. So imagine there's strength coming from the top of your head that's pulling you up. And take a moment to connect with your body and breathe into that. <sighs> Allowed exhales are more than welcome. And now inhale, hands up. Exhale, bend your knees, forward fold, ragdoll. So knees are bending and just swing from one side to another. Give yourself a nice little side stretch. Keep breathing, stay connected with your breath. And now on inhale, lift halfway, hands above your knees on your lap. And we'll do a few standing cat and cows. This is what it looks like from a side. So inhale, you look up, open your chest, shoulder blades together. Exhale, arch it like an angry cat. Inhale, up, back bend. Exhale, arch it, yes. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, arch it. Beautiful. Do it a few more times. And inhale slowly, vertebra after vertebra. Lift back up, hands up, and exhale, hands down. A few more times. Inhale up, exhale, hands down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Chair pose. How we do chair pose. Toes together. Bend your knees. I'll show you from a, from a profile. You're bending your knees and you're leaning into your heels. Okay. You can even exaggerate it to get the feel of it. Lean into your heels, knees together. And again, tug your tailbone. So no duck butt. 
stuck in your tailbone. Again, it activates your core. You should feel it in your lower belly. And now you can either stay here, because that might be a lot already, <laughs> or you can bring your hands forward, or if you have enough mobility and flexibility in your shoulders, you can bring your arms, your hands up. And let's introduce a little bounce. Pump it. Pump it. Pump it. Yes. Feel the heat. We're warming up. Beautiful. Inhale, come up. Stretch it out. Exhale, hands down. Inhale, hands up. And exhale, chair pose again. So again, your hands are either here or here or in front of you or up. Pump it. Pump it. I feel like some fitness instructor from the 80s. <laughs> Remember to lean into your heels and keep breathing. Don't lose your breath. This is not an excuse to stop breathing, okay? And it's not an excuse to stop smiling. So smile. Lovely. Inhale up. Stretch it out. Exhale hands down. Shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. Ba -ba. Lovely. So shift your weight to your left foot. Bring your right knee to your chest. And make circles with your ankles. Opposite direction. And now your foot goes up and down. Curl your toes. Yeah. For some of us, it will be super awkward. But we don't do it often enough. So give your feet some love. Beautiful. Nice. Breathe into that. And now, again, mommy, no hands. Let go of hands. And if you feel super ninja today, straighten it. And bend. And straighten. And bend. And straighten. And bend. And last time, straighten. Bend. Nice. Shake it off. Beautiful. Let's do the same on the other side. Root through your right foot. Bring your left knee to your chest. Circles. Breathe into that spine nice and tall. Someone's pulling you towards the sky. Opposite direction. Little wavy, wavy foot. Hello. Curl your toes. Nice. Breathe into that. And exhale. Release your hands. If you feel ninja, straighten it. And bend. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Shake it off. Nice. Let's do something similar. So back on your left foot. Root. Breathe into that. Root through your left foot. Bring your right knee to your chest. And on inhale, open your hip. Breathe into that. If you need to help yourself with a wall or a table, by all means, please do. There's no shame in your game. If you need support, get support. And exhale back to center. Inhale. Exhale, release hands. You know what's coming. Four, three, two, one. Nice. Shake it off. You're doing so well. And back on our right foot. Breathe into that. Root through your right foot. Left knee to your chest. Nice. And inhale. Open your hip. Breathe into that. I know you're watching me, but what helps is to find one steady point, like either in front of you or two meters in front of you on the floor. Helps a lot. <sighs> Spine nice and tall. There's a string pulling you towards the sky. And exhale back to center. 
deep inhale and exhale hands off four three two one nice shake it off good job okay so again feet hip distance apart inhale hands up exhale bend your knees ragdoll and again swing from one side to another mm. loud exhales are more than welcome soften your jaw soften your forehead they're not holding the pose they know they do not need to be tense now lovely and now we'll be straightening our legs so wherever your hamstrings are please adapt accordingly so if your hamstrings are um, very tense right now you can grab a block or your back and lean against the block you can come back to what we did earlier so lean against a wall or a table um, again no shame in your game or you can grab a strap and like put it underneath the feet and go like this so why this is important because I want you to use your hands as a leverage okay so with your hands you're pulling up your kneecaps are active what does it mean you're tense in your quads okay for your knees to go up so kneecaps active your hands are pulling up there is duck butt, okay? This time it's duck butt. And again, your head is pulling forward, your tailbone is pulling backwards, backwards and up. And I want your chest to be open as if you were Pocahontas <laughs> jumping from a waterfall, okay? Really open hands. You can even start here. So with me, stretch out your hands, open chest, shoulders away from your ears. Breathe into that and exhale forward fold and again either use a strap or use a block or use a table or if you're very flexible grab your toes elbows away from each other and breathe into that so your toes are pressing into the ground but your hands are pulling up remember to activate your kneecaps and breathe into that and with every exhale tell your body to release and let go inhale accept exhale let go inhale accept exhale let go Beautiful. Come halfway up. Look forward. Soft forehead, soft jaw. Lovely. Exhale, bend your knees, ragdoll. And inhale, vertebra after vertebra. Come back up. Hands up. Exhale, hands down. Okay. Life is a balancing act. Let's keep going. So what we can do now um, might be might look intimidating. Um, but I don't want you to get discouraged. Please do whatever you have to do to give it a try. Remember, there is no harm in trying. There is no harm in failing. Um, and if what we're about to do is really not accessible for you today, which is fine. Please just do what we did in the beginning. So you're opening the hip and you're closing and maybe just hang out here, okay? And like open it on inhale, close it on exhale. So that's option number one. Option number two is take a strap or your belt or your scarf or whatever you're using and straighten your leg in front of you. 
And actually, even if you're really flexible, I want you to try this option first because here you can really work on your shoulder alignment. So your shoulder is not somewhere here, but they're nicely aligned, okay? Shoulder blades together, kneecap active, tuck tailbone, so your core is active. And breathe into that. Another option is you can do it against the wall, if that helps, okay? There's no shame in your game. I said it and I'll say it I'll say it a hundred more times. If you're more on the flexible side, grab your toe, inhale nice and tall, exhale, straighten your leg. Breathe into that. And now wherever you are, open your hip and breathe into that. This hand can be on your hips if that helps. Shoulder blades together, chest open. Smile. And exhale back to center. Release it, hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. Shake it off. Good job. Let's do the same on the other side. So again, you're more than encouraged to do it with a strap first, just to get the shoulder alignment, and then you can make your way to your feet. No shame in your game. Grab your toe, inhale nice and tall, exhale, stretch it out. Shoulder blades together, tuck your tailbone. Breathe into that. Now your hip, your left hip, which is the leg you have in the air, if that's coming up and closer to your torso, I want you to lower it. And inhale, open it up. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, somewhere here. And breathe into that. Whoa is always uh, an option, it's always there. Just like floor, floor is always there to catch you whenever you fall. That's a good support system. Okay, I'm gonna get wobbly now. <laughs> okay, inhale, back in the front, <laughs> release your hand. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Shake it off. Good job. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, hands down. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, our very last chair pose. Jin, 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 jin. Keep lowering, keep lowering, keep lowering, keep lowering. Oh, plum. <laughs> Get to seated. Malasana, deep squat. So if your heels are not touching the ground, Please grab a block or a book and sit on them, okay? What I want you to do here is to do whatever it takes to keep your spine straight and tall, okay? So if you are, if, if you are with your heels on the ground, but you're like this, like a little beetle, please go higher up, okay? So you can get this nice tall spine. And what's happening here? is your elbows go into your knees and they're pushing pushing them out whereas your knees are pushing in so knees in elbows out it's a very active pose and using this here as a leverage to go higher okay to grow taller and breathe into that And with every exhale, you release what's not serving you right now. You're letting it go. Drop, shake it off. Amazing. And sit comfortably in cross leg position whatever it takes 
for you to sit comfortably here. So you can put um, blocks or bolsters or pillows under your knees if that's needed. You can sit on it. You can um, grab a pillow to sit on. If you need elevation, find whatever feels comfortable. And now put your hands on your heart and we'll be counting the breaths. We'll start with a short count of three. So inhale one, two, three. Exhale three, two, one. Inhale one, two, three. Exhale three, two, one. Inhale one, two, three. Exhale three, two, one. And breathe normally. <sighs> loud exhales are always welcome. We'll start counting again. This time the count is up to five. Inhale one, two, three, four, five. Exhale five, four, three, two, one. Inhale one, two, three, four, five. Exhale five, four, three, two, one. Inhale one, two, three, four, five. Exhale five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five. Five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three. Four, five, five, four, three, two, one, and breathe normally. And take this moment to thank yourself for showing up for yourself. You did absolutely amazing, amazing job. I'm really proud of you. And I will say goodbye to you here. But if you have five minutes to lie down into Savasana, so just lie down on your back and spend five minutes, five minutes integrating this practice, by all means, please do. Thank you so much for today. See you on the mat.